it's Claudia Rosario and it's been several weeks since my last vlog. George and I have been quite active between traveling and working on special projects. But Christmas is just a few days away and I've had this message on my mind these past few days. Christmas is the celebration of the light the light that enters this world. But unfortunately, Christmas is also a moment full of darkness and pain for so many. Did you know that there were two groups of men that quit life during the holidays? First, there are the veterans. Veterans think about the people they have lost or about the things they have done in their past. Veterans have sacrificed so much for this country and no one seems to care. No one reaches out and says, I'm here if you need to talk. Christmas is a time when veterans are thinking about the brothers that have taken their own lives. This anguish turns into despair and guilt. Guilt that often pushes them to do the same thing. Christmas is also a time where divorced dads quit. This is our second group of men, where the pain and the loneliness become so unbearable without their children that they simply cannot go on. The enemy, unfortunately, speaks a lot louder during the Christmas season, whispering thoughts like, you are worthless, they don't need you, they'd be better off without you. Meanwhile, we believers are so busy with I have to do this, I have to do that. So busy with events and tasks that we don't take the time to look around and see our brothers and sisters that are suffering. We believers are busier with doing the things of traditions and holidays than we are at looking out for each other or looking out for that brother or sister who is in despair. Alone, we cannot save them all. But if each one of us focuses on just saving one, one at a time, if we as Christians exercise our free will to set aside time-consuming man-made traditions to set aside some time to call a friend. I'm sure you can think of at least one friend who may be home without their children, without a spouse, without someone to share a meal with, without someone to bring them laughter. We need to be reminded that it's important not to get so caught up and lost in the events of the Christmas season to forget those that don't have that blessing of friends and or family. And I know many of you will immediately say, why don't they just go to church? Did you know that churches can be a very lonely place for some? There are people that go to church and sit down all alone. They listen to the message and they hear it, but the pain of their loneliness is such that they take more notice of those that are happy around them. Those that have a busy life with someone else, a spouse or a child. And after church, they go home to the loneliness where the phone doesn't ring, a home without another voice, 
and the memories of the things that once were. And the enemy. Oh, the enemy starts speaking. The enemy isn't quiet during Christmas time. This is when it is the loudest. The despair of the holidays is big. Like I said, alone we cannot save them all. But if you just save one, and that one may save another. That saves two. That saves 20. That saves 100. In Matthew 18, 12 through 14 states, What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the 99 on the hills and go to look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he is happier about that one sheep than about the 99 that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. This holiday season, ask yourself, who is that one person I can call? Or maybe, just maybe, say hello and have a conversation to that one person in church that you've seen sitting alone. You might just save a life. Here's wishing you and yours a Merry Christmas. Until the next time, peace and blessings.